How's it going today, everyone? Welcome back to the channel where we open up Pokemon cards and have a blast doing it. Piggybacking off of last video, if you haven't watched it, you definitely should, we'll be opening up the Japanese set of Rapid Strike Master today to see what that other half of Battle Styles looks like. So without further ado, let's see what we can get into. So here we are with our sealed box of Rapid Strike Master. As you can see, pretty similar to that Single Strike Master box. It is S5R. This one has the Rapid Strike version of Urshifu on it versus the Single Strike version on the Single Strike Master box. Kind of makes sense, huh? So, like usual, I will fast forward through the box opening and pack snipping and I'll catch you back here in a minute. And boom, there we go. Here we are back with our box all snipped and ready to go. As you can see, very good branding and art with that Rapid Strike Master, even when the box is all popped up. So to keep y'all waiting no longer, here we go. So, like I said earlier, this is half of the English set Battle Styles, which is set to release on, ooh, okay. First pack magic with some Victine EV. There is also a VMAX version of this card, a V Full Art, and a VMAX Rainbow. So those are all cards to look out for throughout this opening. So, as I was saying, this is half of the English set battle styles that is to release on March 19th. And just like its single strike counterpart, there are 70 cards in the regular set with 21 secret rares, totaling up to 91 cards total. So out of those 21 secret rares, we have three gold cards, and here we are on that Cherub holographic. Those three gold cards are the Level Ball, the Rapid Strike Energy, and the Octillery. There are three full art trainers in this set as well. Cheryl, Corina and the Rapid Strike Mustard. All of those have the full art and the rainbow version for a total of six to be looking out for, or Beetle. And the star of the show in this one is the Rapid Strike Urshifu. There is the V and V Max version of it, the V full art. Here's that regular artillery. As I said, there's a gold version of this card. But yeah, there's a V full art and a V alternate art on that Rapid Strike Urshifu. There's a V Max alternate art and a V Max Rainbow. So, tons of versions of that Rapid Strike Urshifu to be looking out for. There's the Corbinite. Here is the Karina to be looking out for her full art versions. The Corbinite has a V, VMAX, V Full Art, and a VMAX Rainbow version. Okay, here's that Victini VMAX. Let's go. That's a hit right there. Man, the artwork on these is just insane. Have our Victini V and VMAX. In the back there, looking all cute together. So another card to be looking out for is the Krikatoon. There's a V and a full art version of it. One of the biggest hitters in this set is the Empoleon V and his 
alternate art form, which is very rare to pull. The alternate arts in this set are extremely difficult to find. From what I understand, it's about one per case. Ooh, here we are on our Rapid Strike Urshifu Full Art V. Look at that. Man, that looks good. I don't know if y'all can see that texture or not. But man, that's a good looking card. Very, very happy with that pull. Alrighty, so that was the first and probably only secret rare of the box. So we're gonna be hoping for that double secret box. We'll see if we can hit it today. Gotta have faith for sure. The last V card that I haven't talked about so far is that Necrozma V. There's a V in a full art version of him. Okay, here we are on the Tapu Bulu Holographic. So as of date of filming, there's only about, I don't know, a week or, or I guess two weeks until Rapid, or not Rapid Strike, Battle Styles, my bad. Comes out in English, so definitely gonna be looking for that, hoping to get my hands on some of that and do an opening to kind of round out this single strike, rapid strike opening with a, ooh, nice little battle styles. Here we go, here is the rapid strike Urshifu V, the regular art form. So definitely happy with the, the pulls so far. We are already four hits into this box and we have kind of two pairs, I guess you would call it, a Victini V and a Victini V Max. And then we have that Urshifu V and the Urshifu V Full Art. So also on March 19th, there is a, another set releasing over in Japan called Matchless Fighters. Matchless Fighters is going to be the expansion set to this and we'll expand a lot upon these rapid strike and single strike mechanics that this set brings to the TCG. So if you're big into playing the TCG, that'll be a set to look out for when it comes out or when it comes out in English, if you play on the English side of things. Here's that mustard, the rapid strike version of him. So we're a little over halfway through this box. We have four hits. Hopefully we can match that single strike box. Ooh, Corva Knight V Max. Look at that. The background on these cards is just, I don't know if you call it psychedelic or kind of like outer space and I don't know, it just looks good. Did tremendous with these. Here's that last card of that pack. So let me know in the comments down below on whether you're a collector or a player of the game or both. Ooh, Scent of Scorch. And here's the tower where you go to pick your Rapid Strike version of Urshifu. So this set or expansion, whatever you want to call it, half of the set, the single strike and rapid strike are kind of built around the Isle of Armor expansion to the Sword and Shield video game. Ooh, Corva Knight V. We're hitting a lot of pairs today. A lot of these go together, which is nice. And I guess spoiler alerts if you haven't played it, but it's been out for a while. So in that Isle of Armor expansion, you go through some quest and quest line and whatnot, and then you get a little Urshifu guy. There we go with that King Drahalo. So I'm not 100% sure on the name of the unevolved form of Urshifu. It might be Urshifu as well, I'm not sure. But then you 
level them up to 70 and you go fight through one of those two towers that I just showed you, Sanaconda. Here's that rapid strike energy. There is a gold version of it. But yeah, as I was saying, you go and you pick one of those towers and you fight your way through it after hitting level 70 with your baby Urshifu. And you get the evolved form Urshifu and he's either the single strike version or the rapid strike version, depending on which tower you go through. And so that's what this set kind of built off of. And if I'm not mistaken, here in a few months, there will be Steelix, there we go. There will be sets that are around the next expansion, the Crowned Tundra. And it'll be kind of similar to this. There will be two different styles because once again, spoiler alert in that set or that expansion, there are two different ways to go at the end. And the two halves of the set will go along with both of those sides of whichever way you decide to to go in that expansion. Empoleon V, there we go. All righty, and here we are coming down to the last few packs. So we currently have seven pulls. So hopefully we can match that single strike box and get eight. Not in this pack, so little phalanx. So let's see if we can get some build up to some last pack magic here. Shinx. He evolved into his Luxray form. And alrighty, here we are on that last pack. Send us some last pack magic luck, everyone. Onyx. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. A weeping bell into a victory bell. Alrighty. Well, there you have it, guys. I'll catch you back on the recap. Alrighty, so here we are with that recap. We have our Victini V, Empoleon V, Corviknight V, Urshifu Rapid Strike V, Corviknight V Max, Victini V Max, and our secret rare or super rare of the box is the Urshifu V Full Art. Well, there you have it, everyone. That was the Rapid Strike Master Box. If you want to see what the other half of the English set battle styles coming soon will look like, go check out my Single Strike Master Box opening. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. Take care of yourself and see you next time.